we are on our way to Mexico. And uh, <laughs> yeah, come on. It feels really good to be back in a tournament environment. It's so hard to replicate it through the friendlies and even the domestic tournaments that we have. When your future is on the line in these games, it's very different. And so we prep as much as we can, but until you get here and actually feel the pressure, it's really hard to like prepare the group for it. So I'm really excited that there's so many younger players that are experiencing it for the first time because it's only going to help them grow. Mexico! In a tournament, so many things can get thrown at you, and so controlling the controllables is extremely important. But I think it's really good to have, you know, the staff, the veterans, the people that have been through this, um, to kind of just keep everything in perspective. It's really, really hard to put into words how important Alex and Pino are to a group. They're veterans, obviously, but they're also game changers and they're clutch players. And when you need them, they show up. Uh, good training. Okay, very good training. Let's uh, focus one more tomorrow and uh, finish it off with a game uh, on Monday. All right, bring it in. Good work. That was a hot one. Team on three. One, two, three. Happy birthday, Daniel. Alex Morgan getting the start at the nine spot. Well, the U.S. women's national team, they're ready to take their first steps towards the 2023 World Cup. Alex scoring those two goals early, like that really settled us and allowed us to like take a breath, figure things out. And you really can't undervalue that. Here is Pew. And a flick on, it's Alex Morgan. Back in the scoring common international wise. O'Hara sends it back in, she has Morgan again! Alex Morgan making the most of her start tonight! Just having their knowledge and their, their leadership, but also that like X factor that you can't really like put words to, that can really just change a game on a whim. So Megan Rapino will take the place of Mallory Pugh. And speaking with Black and Oski, one of the reasons he did opt to bring Rapino outside of the leadership was her ability to kill a game or to win a game. Mewis with the service, looking for Morgan. Purse with another opportunity. She makes good on it. And that'll do it. United States wins its first group play match. The thing with tournaments is you, you can never look too far ahead, and so you're always preparing for that, that next game. And so everything that you have gained from the last game, you have to apply it to the next without looking too far ahead, because that's when you start getting in trouble, is when you start skipping games and you think, what's the semi going to look like? What's the final going to look like? It's like absolutely not everyone focus on this day, on this training, on this meeting. Honestly, you really cannot rely on any sort of results, especially in CONCACAF. And so, sure, results could go our way, and that would be great, but we're really just thinking, we need to win every single game. And let's do it handily, let's make a statement, let's not rely on anything else, let's just keep everything in our control in our hands.
The second match of group play from Guadalupe, Mexico at Estadio BBVA. The matchup tonight between the top two teams in Group A, both Jamaica and the United States, with results on day one and have the opportunity to clinch a spot in the World Cup with a win tonight and help with the other match following this one, Haiti and Mexico. Pone precioso ahí en su arquitectura. Ataque Estados Unidos se va metiendo al área. La jugada que es fantástica. La va a terminar el tío centro. Smith trying to run on again. Taps it to herself. Was it saved at the goal line? And Smith is going to be credited with goal number two. I think how we start a game is always the most important thing because it sets the tone for the rest of the game. And I think coming out on the front foot just allowed us to play with confidence. They play it to Sanchez, who's trying to feed it inside. There's a one touch by Lavelle! El de la goleada, Estados Unidos el cuarto. Beautiful through ball as Pugh runs on, and she serves it across the goal, and Rodman has her second international goal. And the United States well in control of Group A, picking up another three points and a 5-0 victory against Jamaica. It's not an easy thing to qualify, absolutely not. And so to be able to, to check that mark and to make sure that this group gets to experience Australia, New Zealand is, is massive.